Hi there, these comments are for AA and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7 Step System to Pass a TOEFL IBT. And I'm listening to your pronunciation pretest for vowel and consonant sounds. So let's see how you do with this. Um, this is apologies. Part A. Lesson 7. Okay. Part. Part. Rung. Grow. Honor. Over. Father. Thaw. Next lesson. Now, the, the one that first one, like, p p not part, but pa, part. Wrong. Honor. So that first sound. I think you can probably work on a little bit. Bat, put, map, look, take, took. And that was not, it's tack, tack. Pat, map, tack. And, un, mac, look. Okay, good. Next lesson. Bright, brown, boy, line, loud, noy, pie, pound. Next lesson. Gate, get. Lead, lit, made, met, played, lit, dan, din, met. That, that, that last sound is dane, den. So gate, get, late, let. This lesson, meet, might, pity. No, it's meet, met. Bite, deep, lie, seed, sit. Heat, height. Okay, this is one you got to work on definitely. So this looks like lesson number eleven. So let's take a look at this. The main thing is the e, meet, and then mit. Pete, pit. Next lesson, look, luck. It's look, Luke. Luck, took, two. I'm sorry, luck, took. Two, tough, cut, cool. Next lesson, match, mash, cheap, or cheap, cheap, feature, figure, shift, shaft, cheer, sheer. Next lesson, off. Okay, let me look at that lesson 13 one more time. Give me a quick second. Let me go back. Figure, shift. Now it's feature, feature. That T U sound is a C H sound. Two, tough, cut, cool. Next lesson, match, mash, cheap, or cheap, cheap, feature. Now that was tough for you. Cheap, sheep. Feature, shift, shaft, cheer, sheer. Now, this is a tough one for you. Lesson 13, I think you need to focus on both the CH and the SH consonant sounds. Next lesson, off, off, half, half, fine, vine, fan, van, wafer, uh, or wafer, wafer. Okay, lesson 14, the main thing here is the V when it's the beginning of the word. So, fine, van, fan, Van, so that V you need to produce that with a little bit more vibration. Next lesson. How? Habit. Who? Rehash. Behavior. Hate. Batman. Biting. No, it's bitten, not biting. Bitten. Broughton. Brighting. Hatrack. Certain. Okay, I think what's in 15, you want to focus on that glottal stop. It's uh, these words. Batman. Bitten. Important. Brightening. Hat rack. Threatened. So I think as you go through these lessons, it's, it's also important for you to get used to the, the consonant, the unusual consonant sound spelling patterns and even vowels so when you look at a word you know how to pronounce it based on how it's spelled so you're not so clear on that right now next lesson major 
بيجو فريجا فريزر لينجن ليشن انجن اوجر لارج ايجا Now, a lot, of, a lot of trouble with uh, lesson number 16. Let's take a look at some examples. So, fragile, Frasier. Legend, lesion. So, you have to work on that, I think, a little bit more. Kick, sink, sack, game, game. Cap, gap, mac, mac. Next lesson, lean. Okay, let's take a look here. I think lesson 17 you can also work on. So one thing you, you might want to worry about here, and this applies in a lot of other cases, so this can help you with your pronunciation of vowel sounds. So the K is a voiceless consonant. The G is a voice consonant. And voice consonants, typically, you have to produce the vowel a little bit longer before the that word. So if I look at these two words, I'll say cake, keg. Sink, sag. Lake, lag. So just remember when voice consonants are at the end of a word, the vowel which precedes those sounds should be a little bit longer. And that will help improve your intelligibility a little bit more. Beer, bitter. Luggage, frigid. Edit, riot, mind, committed. Back, base, flap, flap, cap, cap, lap, lap, pay, bye. Now you need to work on uh, lesson 19 also. So here again, that same rule applies as in lesson 17. So let's take a look at these words. Flap, flab. Cap, cab. Lap, lab. Next lesson. Nice. Nice. Sip. Sip. Zoo. Zoo. Maze. Maze. Ilza. Ilza. Next lesson. That, that last sound is Eliza. Eliza. Then you have Mace. Maze. Sue. Zoo. Sip. Zip. So I think you can also work on lesson 20. Concentrate on a couple of things here. First of all, when the Z's at the end of the word, the vowel before it should be a little longer. That's why when I say these two words, mace, maze, I don't say them with exactly the same duration. Uh, and also, the second thing you want to work on is that Z, sip, zip. So that Z, you need to make that Z a little bit more voiced. Multiple. Report, example, pressure, principle, member, people, philosopher. Next lesson, functionism, written, maximum, question, summer, reason, cashism, often. Next lesson, okay, not bad. tip, tip, cart, cart, tight, tight, train, train, fat, fat, team, dream. Next lesson, Again, again, you got to be careful about this one, so let's take a look. Cart, card. Tight, tied. Fat, fad. Again, the duration of the vowel before the voice consonant will be a little bit longer than the duration of the vowel before the voiceless consonant. Breathe, breathe, teeth, teeth, throw, throw, worth, worthy. Now, this is a tough one for you, too. So, what do we know so far? Uh, I think here, based on the pretest, uh, I recommend you go through all my pronunciation videos at least one time. But here are the ones you want to focus on the most. This is where you want to practice the most. And remember that at the end of each video lesson, there are some voice recording exercises. You can complete those and then email them to me for evaluation. And these voice recording exercises are designed to help you practice uh, your articulation of the vowel and consonant sounds of American English. So you get used to how these sounds are produced. You get used to where these sounds are produced. And you get used to producing these sounds either with a voiced or voiceless type um, vocal tract.
or vocal folds, I should say. Okay, lesson number 7, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, lesson 17, 19, lesson number 20, 23, and lesson number 24. Those are the lessons you want to practice more, and that's where you want to get more of your feedback from me. All right, remember that uh, I keep my course inexpensive, right? I want to make sure most students, no matter where they are, can afford to use my course. So here's how I keep my course inexpensive. Uh, don't send me more than 60 seconds of speaking or pronunciation practice each day, and I will give you feedback on that. So choose what you need feedback on, and uh, don't send me too much on any given day, but if you keep sending the feedback day by day, you'll be surprised how much feedback you can get over a month. Think about it. I'll be giving you, if you send me speaking or pronunciation practice in one day, I'll provide you about 8 to 10 minutes of feedback the next day. Then you do something else or provide feedback again. That ends up being hours, hours of feedback if you look at it over a 30 or 60 day period. All right, uh, the next thing is uh, I'm going to listen to your response to the interview questions. That's the next thing. These questions right here. For part B, my education backup. Notice the word not part B, but it's part B. Part B, so you want to make sure that you're producing the P with more air than what you're doing. Part uh, software engineering. I'm currently I'm working in one of the biggest oil and gas company. The important of... Uh, now when you say one of the biggest oil companies, when you're done with that sentence, you don't want to end with rising intonation. You want to end with a falling tone. And that tells your audience that you're done with those ideas. So uh, be careful about that. Uh, to improve my speaking and pronunciation ability to be to participate to participate in one of uh, uh, university or completing my uh, high level education master degree. Okay. I would like to increase my TOEFL exam by forty point at least. Thank you. So you want to improve your TOEFL score 40 points. Wow. And it's possible. You can do it. Uh, to improve your score 40 points, you usually can get, let's say, 5 to 10 points for each month that you study. So you're probably looking at anywhere from 6 to 12 months. The main thing is be patient. Be methodical. Go through the lessons. Make sure you have the right study guide. I would recommend either the six-month or the 12-month study guide for you. You probably already have it. If you don't have it, send me a quick email and I'll send you either one, the six or the 12-month study guide. 40, 40 points is a lot of points. It's going to take you some time to do that. All right, so the next thing, let's take a look. at my intelligibility scale okay on a scale of one to seven so one would be what I consider high beginner here see that and then seven is what I call near native speaker so for you uh, I'm going to put you in the middle here probably about 4.0 out of four out of seven that's probably where you are right now, so this is where you are with your speaking. You have a ways to go, and you can learn a little bit more about it. I'm kind of putting you in the high three area right there. This kind of describes, I think, your uh, pronunciation and speaking proficiency of American English. See that? All right, thank you very much for doing the pretest. I hope that this video has given you some good ideas on what you need to do now in order to improve your vowel and consonant sound production.